These days, we have the freedom to identify as literally anything, so identifying as an audiophile is quite low in the weirdness ranking. And if you have ventured into this odd and expensive hobby, you must have heard of the Lipertech earphones which audiophiles keep raving about the audio quality of. This time they have also collaborated with Headphone Zone who are apparently selling a lot of headphones in India. At around 6000 rupees, they don't cost that much and their USB is amazing value and audio quality and while they may be the best sounding earphones in their range and up, they do have some weirdness that we will talk about. Hey guys, I am Siddharth and I identify as a very stressed person. Inside this special box, I have a hand signed note that you will not get. Then in the product box, the earphones are stored outside of the case which was interesting to see. You'll get a USB-C cable for charging and they even include some foam tips here which is really nice. By now, the PurePlay series has established a distinct aesthetic and this charcoal fabric covering does make them feel unique with a useful removable loop. If you add a square to their top, you will also get all the PlayStation button shapes. The comfort on these has been really nice for me, but the left and right earbuds have the exact same shape which can make you switch the left and right bud, so you'll just have to keep an eye on which side is which. These are quite bigger than the usual TWS package, but that is because they offer a massive 80 hours of total battery life and I have tested the 10 hour claim on the buds and they do deliver on that promise, so these are really going to last you for the full vacation. Another really awesome feature on these is wireless charging, so you can even charge these easily with your phone if you need to and I haven't seen this feature being present in this price range. But there are some features which are not present, like they don't connect to your phone as soon as you open the case which is not a big deal but that does add a slight delay compared to earphones which already get paired by the time you put them in your ears. They also don't have touch controls which are useful when you have to press on your earphones multiple times to control volume or hold it to launch Google Assistant. Personally I think that both of these missing features are easily offset by the presence of wireless charging. They do have the Qualcomm quick pairing feature but I tried it multiple times and it didn't work on my S24 Ultra. The regular way of pairing will of course work on this and this does have support for aptX and AAC codec with Bluetooth 5.2. Let's finally talk about the sound and since I have known these for a long time, I already had high expectations from them which were met. So I may not look surprised but these really are some of the best sounding TWS earphones that you can get. The detail levels are really high on these, possibly because of the graphene driver that they have in them and I don't like to use cliche words but they really sound very dynamic in a sense that you really feel the sound with great intensity in a very clear way and all the areas of sound like the bass, mids and treble are delivered accidentally. Keep in mind that you do have to kind of push these deep into your ears for proper bass response. I also have to use an equalizer with them because by default their sound is too bright for my taste but I use equalizer with most of my earphones so I am like… These are the settings that I use with them if you need to check it out. Not only their sound is immersive, but you can even immerse them in water to make a nice sounding drink with their IPX7 water resistance. Their sound stage has the usual width that you will find on TWS earphones, but their imaging is quite good so you do hear some instruments nicely separated at a distance. Overall, they really deliver on the promise of providing an audiophile level sound and apart from needing an EQ, the sonic experience is simply superb. I had included a long rant about how the Pure Control app doesn't seem to connect to these earphones but apparently the support for it is excluded for these earphones. I had tried the app and it did work for a short while before not being able to connect. It offered features like an ambient mode, ability to change controls, it offered an equalizer and most importantly an LDX mode which made the sound fuller. Even on the regular non-headphone zone version, the app connectivity did have issues but a total lack of support is kind of a bummer even though you can use the equalizer in your phone to get the same effect as the LDX mode. Another minor issue I notice with these is that sometimes I get interference noises on these when nothing is playing which I haven't noticed on other earphones. And this is what the microphone on the PurePlay Z3 sounds like. They have some special noise cancelling technology so you must be able to hear how good that is working and you can give this video a thumbs up if you are liking it so far. To conclude all of this, I would say that I can totally recommend these earphones and if you are looking for probably the best sound in this and higher price range, you will not be disappointed. 
The addition of wireless charging and their everlasting battery life are also big highlights and the overall package is really sweet at 6000 rupees. But there are areas in which these do not feel as polished as the earphones from mainstream brands, especially in the software department, but I am not sure how much of you will get bothered by that. So I'll have my links to check these out in the video description. Let me know what you think about these in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.